There's one. The first muskie on the new fat nose giant. This That's the fish. That's the shadow. You can faintly just see the fins kind of hanging off the back there. Fish. Welcome back. My name is Ben Stone. You're watching canalgratis.com and I'm sure you can tell by the background or lack of background therefore I am on Lake St. Clair which is a body of water that I've always wanted to fish and I finally had the opportunity to come and do that. Uh, I'm with Mark Kornoski from Troublemaker Fishing Charters who's kind enough to take us out and another friend that I have Mike Ducci's boat <laughs> and uh, we have a familiar face with Brian from Angling Anarchy who is also joining us. Fingers are crossed today that uh, we'll be able to cross paths with a few fish. We are here for four days so we have time to hopefully make something happen. Uh, we're gonna get to fishing though and uh, hopefully more things to come. So what I'm gonna start off with that's the new giant flat nose shad. Is just a big swim bait. Big profile bait, throws off big movement through the water. We're fishing very dirty water, so hopefully that'll catch a fish. There's one. Nice. Jackpot, baby! <laughs> I guess there was one on this. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, and he's like, yeah, there's one. I just went over to check out the side imaging because Mark <laughs> said there's two fish, <laughs> and then there's a muskie in the net. <laughs> awesome. Well, there's my first Lake St. Clair muskie, and the first muskie on the new fat nose giant. This is a stinger rig that I made. I think eventually we're gonna have an integrated harness in these. But this is something that I kind of helped guide the way on. So it's pretty cool to catch a fish on it. Uh, this is one This one was hand poured by Edvin Johansson from the Sweden channel. And that's the first muskie on it. My first Lake St. Clair muskie. It's a nice fish, uh, it's kind of funny, kind of comedic the way it's played out. Mark was uh, telling us that there was muskies on both sides of the side imaging. I went back to look and as soon as I turned my head to look at the side of it, I just felt the lightest tap and uh, luckily the hook stayed in the fish. We're going to take a look at this guy. Oh, nice fish. Nice and stout. Really fat fish. We're going to get this guy back in the water. There she goes. Doesn't take long with that cold water. Awesome. So that's my first fish on the Fat Nose Giant Shad. This is a bait, like I said, that we've kind of been working on that I think might be available by the time you're watching this. But since this is a prototype, I actually went and made my own rigs. These don't pop out super easily, which is good because I am fishing for muskies, which are big, powerful fish. And I don't always want that to just slide right out. So it seemed to work pretty well on that fish. If you saw the fish in the net, he basically pulled that rig out and the bait was kind of free. And uh, for catching a, a muskie like that, this bait is in pretty good shape. I mean, I got a couple of uh, teeth marks on there, but pretty awesome to catch fish on it. We uh, we haven't really been off for that long, but uh, I'll probably turn it over to Mark here where he can kind of talk about what we're doing here. Hey guys, uh, so today what we're doing, um, we're targeting channels and rivers and that kind of thing that's held a lot of bait. Uh, we've noticed today that the water temps inland a little bit closer in or colder. But this time of year, that's typical. You know, as the water temps change the bait, changes up and then the muskies follow the bait so yeah so so far what we've been doing is kind of staying off the main lake so when you hear lake st clair obviously it's a big giant lake but we're actually up in pretty shallow water and very you know skinny water like literally in a tiny little channel and basically what we have what mark talked about right there was how we have stained water that's holding bait we've kind of continued going through here we've marked so many different fish on side imaging so there's obviously fish using this it's just a matter of time of when those fish want to bite, obviously you can hear the busy streets in the background were in urban areas, so pretty unique setting to musky fish. Oh. I see the bubbles. Yep. Yeah. I stuck my rod loaded up for like a half second. Oh. Popped out. That sucks. See him on side. Well, obviously I was facing this way, but apparently Brian just had a fish. I just looked over to see a big boil. 
I did not mention it, but both Brian and Mark are throwing husky sized Medusas right now. I'm through the Poseidon. Oh, well, Mark's on the Poseidon now, so. Right, well, that's, uh, that's a hit on the swim bait and a hit on the Medusa, so yeah, maybe it's good. maybe they're not being picky today. All right, well, I'm sure maybe the, the wind noise isn't the greatest right now. We The wind did pick up, and as you can tell, it's actually snowing now, so weather has shifted quite a bit from when we got out here, and we're still fishing the, the same area, the same kind of spillway that's pushing this water out and the reason why we're still here even though it has been slow since I caught that fish is the amount of fish that we've actually been marking on side imaging. We know there's fish here and we just have to wait on those windows to open. When I caught that first fish Brian missed one shortly after and then it slowed down again so we're gonna keep at it. I feel pretty good about uh, the rest of today and we also have a few more days to be out here and fish so. Fish! Grab a camera and look at the net. Oop. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Shot, but we made up for he bumped me and then I... I'm like, did I just get bumped? <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, I did. Well, in the middle of snowfall, as it is picked up, Mark just caught a muskie. We have a two muskie day. I was just talking about how we were gonna stay in this area and just wait for that window to open up. And shortly thereafter, I've, I've mentioned that to you, Mark has a fish in the net. So it's not, not a very big fish, but looks like that one smoked a Poseidon. So two fish on swim baits, Mark's throwing the Poseidon, I was throwing the, the fat no shad. But we're gonna take a look at this fish now. Captain Kornowski. Right. Oh the wind. Nicely done. Not bad for a little guy. Beautiful fish, man. Alright, get her back. Alrighty. And we should. There it is, buddy. Ooh, that water cold. Knuckles. There we go. Slimy knuckle. Nice. Fish. Swim big time. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, right there it came off. I just finally saw the color of the fish. And that's when it popped off. How can you fight it in that far? <laughs> Ryan, what happened? <laughs> I lost a fish. I've lost two fish now, in fact. You guys have uh, capitalized on your bites and I've got uh, one hit that stayed on for fractions of a second and then one all the way at the end of the cast. Fought it all the way to like right there. Just could see the fish with just, you know, Mark's getting ready to net it and hooks popped. So obviously I have my own swim baits that I brought with me. Kind of what I'm trying to do is, is use these Sweden lures, these Sweden pike lures for muskies. And that's kind of the thing that I'm taking under, but obviously we're onto a pattern here where swim baits are working. So Brian and Mark are throwing Chaos Tackle Poseidons, which are a very similar bait to what I'm throwing. We're doing the same thing that Mark already kind of talked about earlier in the video. We're sticking in the same location where we've seen so many fish. It's such a small area. You wouldn't think there'd be this many muskies back in here, but they are just loaded in here. I mean, we're seeing them on side imaging quite a bit, and we've caught two fish, had two other chances at fish. So this is a hot spot. We're gonna stick it out and uh, hopefully get more fish in the net. Oh, you just had one come in. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. Somebody did. It's it's high. It's right at the back of the boat. So I just looked at side imaging and noticed that's the fish. That's the shadow. You can faintly just see the fins kind of hanging off the back there. But since that's reading right underneath that left side of the boat, that means that that fish probably just came in on somebody's bait. It's obviously murky water, so we can't see everything perfectly clear, but. What I can see are the fins of a muskie if I zoom in on that. You can see that's the head of the fish, that's the back fin, so 
We've seen quite a few fish on side imaging. It's nice to have confirmation that there's a decent amount of fish. Of course, we caught one, so keep that. Oh, look at that, there's another one out the right side. Lots of fish up here. Let's get back to work. Well, there's nothing quite like coming in from musky fishing in a snowstorm <laughs> with Christmas lights in the background. And so that kind of goes to show you what we're dealing with. We try but, to set the mood here. Yeah, yeah. It's holiday season. Um, we're going to defrost this snow filled ranger and we're going to be back out here to do it all over again tomorrow. But on all can't complain, I caught a nice fish. I caught my first fish from Michigan, my first St. Clair fish, which has always been a bucket list thing. And uh, Brian had a few chances and Mark caught a fish as well. So we had a pretty exciting day, pretty awesome way to get introduced to, to Lake St. Clair. With musky fishing, especially this time of year, I think it's all about working together to figure something out. Uh, we were both kind of playing around with different baits, had three guys and we got it figured out, which is always very rewarding when you get something figured out in these conditions. To be able to put something together and come away with two fish and also have two other chances is a pretty successful day in my book. So just catching the muskie is challenging. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Brian said it well there. So hopefully our, our luck extends to the next few days, but uh, we're going to go warm up and eat food because I'm freaking cold. Yeah. Guys, before I go, I just want to let you know that both the Flat Nose and Fat Nose Giant are available to be purchased right now. I will have a link in the description and you also get access to design your own colors in these baits using the Photo Fish tool. If you aren't familiar with what this is, if you're a musky fisherman, you're really going to like this. This is a game changer in my opinion, but this Photo Fish tool allows you to take a bait like this Fat Nose Giant and completely customize the color from head to tail. It's really cool whether you want something bright and obnoxious, something more natural, or just something kind of crazy. You have the option to do that, and the link is in the description. So check that out if you want to get access to one of these new big giant swim baits. Until next time, though, I will see you next week.